Good morning guys, how are you all? I hope you are well. For this week's video, I wanted to show you Grey's new like bedroom makeover because I did a little reveal on Instagram. I did like a before and after and you guys absolutely loved it. The comments were amazing. I'm so happy with the results, but I knew that so many of you would want like more details, you know, like reels are very snappy. So I knew you'd want me to go into more detail, talk about where things are from and thought process and everything. So I wanted to make a little YouTube video about it. I really hope that we haven't got loud drilling in the background. My neighbors are still doing work to their house. So I'm really sorry if there's some background noise, but hopefully not. It's also not like the sunniest of days. This room is actually south facing, so it does get beautifully sunny later in the afternoon and early evening, like lovely sun shining in here, but it's a little bit darker in the morning as the sun's like rising. But this is the only chance I have to film this video. The Instagram reel was a job with little green paint. So I just wanted to put that disclosure out there. The job was to make an Instagram real for them. I was not contracted to make a YouTube video so although this is not part of the job just want to let you know that working on this room was part of a, a job with little green paint. Who we have used already in the house. We used them in the loft, we've used them in a few places around the house and I've always loved the quality of their paints so I was very excited when they wanted to work with me on this. So where do I start? I'm gonna try and get like a range of different shots um, as much as I can on my own. I really wanted to have someone film this for me and like follow me around the room but timings just didn't really work out so I'm gonna try and get as many like wide shots as I can. I'll also do a bit of like talking to camera like this so let's see. Should I start with just a bit of like a walk in the room and you guys can get like a rough layout of the room. I've said this before it's quite a long room because um, the previous owners of this house took space from the bathroom so that we've got quite a big bathroom like big enough space for a bath and a separate shower which I love but because they did that this room became a little bit smaller than the other houses in the streets it's a bit of an awkward shape like when she goes into proper single bed I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna put it but for now it's fine um, but it was something to think about it's quite a long room and I wanted to kind of make it feel a little bit cozier and play around with shapes if I remember where something's from whilst filming I will mention it but if I don't then I'll try and put as much as I can in the description box down below. Okay so when you walk into this room there's got like a little bit of a kind of walkway here and um, that's because the shower is behind there. We've put up this from the little trading company and it's a height measurer thing so it's really cute. We've got like all of their measurements. We kind of do it every six months. Um, and I like this because you can take it off and if you move house, you can take it with you rather than like doing it on the wall. Um, I know like a lot of people do it on this, but then if you move house or leave, you have to leave it behind. So this is something we can just keep forever if we want to. So as you walk in, this is what you see. I don't know if we're keeping this, but I, I got a new rug because I wanted something round because I wanted like a different kind of softer shape. And I didn't want to waste this. So I've put this here for now. I know a lot of people are going to say they don't like it there, but it's fine. This is just a kid's room after all, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. But as you walk in, this is the view you have and I absolutely love it. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed, I can't even tell you. So we did paint the wardrobe in the end and that's because I wanted to continue this pattern all the way over it, just to kind of, so the wardrobe just blends in and you don't even really notice it. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do with the paint in this room, I knew that I wanted to paint the ceiling because the ceilings are very high in this room. I think if we had done the loft as soon as we moved in, we may have considered dropping the ceiling height on this floor to give more ceiling height to the loft. But because we didn't do the loft straight away, when it came to doing the loft, it would have been ridiculous to do that because we'd already decorated the rest of the house and it would have been really disruptive. So we do have very high ceilings, which is really nice. Um, so it can take having paint on the ceiling. So I knew I wanted to do that. A lot of people, my sister and my mum, both have it where it the paint is on the ceiling and then it comes down a little bit and it's just a line going all the way around. But because this room is already so long and there were a lot of kind of long lines in it already, I wanted something a little bit softer. If you look on Pinterest a lot of people do scalloped edges in um, little girls bedrooms or at just kids bedrooms in general actually which is really nice but it felt a little bit too cutesy for me and I just I wasn't sure I didn't love it so I wanted to do a wave instead waves are very like in at the moment I've got like a mug you guys would see it the pink and red mug that's got like a wave around it and it was kind of inspired by that and I started looking into it online I hadn't seen many people do it but I did find one girl on Instagram who had done it she had cut out a bit of cardboard to use as a stencil and I was going to use it as an option but I actually found a stencil on Etsy that was perfect. With the help of my lovely decorators they painted all the walls. So the walls are little green clay mid which is the same paint as our loft. I just thought we love it. The loft is south facing we know it works well in the light so let's 
just do that in here as well. Let me just pop you down here so it's not too shaky whilst I talk. So we knew we loved this kind of warm beigey paint already so we were like fine clay mid for most of the room. It'll be really warm, cosy, lovely. And then I was like I want a pink and I didn't want it to be too like baby pink. I don't know I kind of had an idea like a blush dusty pink. When we actually tested out this pink which is little green blush I thought it came out really purpley on all the samples. I was like it's a bit too purple but I'm so glad I just like went with it because actually it looks so nice now it's on. Um, So they painted the walls, they painted the ceiling, they painted down a bit and then my lovely decorator went so he penciled the stencil all the way around. He had to use a laser to make sure it's straight and then he used a pencil to go around this like perspex stencil that we had and then it was time to just paint over where the pencil was and he he went to do it and I'm not joking like if this was his paintbrush he was like he said to me he was like I am too nervous he was like if I get it wrong you're gonna be so upset and I was like I promise you I won't like it's just a kid's room just go for it it doesn't have to be perfect and he was like I can't I can't do it my hands too shaky I was like oh my god this was like a Friday and I was looking after the kids and I was like I'm gonna have to do it I was like let me try I absolutely loved doing the wave I think I've got quite a steady hand when it comes to things like that I actually found it really relaxing. It didn't take too long. So I went round and did the edge and they did the rest of the room, like all credit to them. It's done so well. The finish is way better than I ever could have done. So let me show you um, what the pink actually looks like. So Clay Mid is this gorgeous warm beige and then this is what the blush looks like. Oh, I love it so much. So this is the entire ceiling painted. We actually also painted the little plastic bits around the spotlight so they didn't stick out too much and took it down and then took the wave all the way around. It was quite hard to match up in the corners and stuff but we did a pretty good job. So let me go back to here and like pan around the room and show you. I just think having a ceiling painted makes it feel so cozy. I absolutely love it. So when you walk in this is what the wardrobe looks like and then this is how the whole room looks. Sorry the light is making it quite tricky to show you but I'll show you from a few different angles. We had these shelves left over. We basically ordered these shelves years ago from Etsy. Had them like made to all our measurements. They were meant to be for downstairs but then we ended up doing wooden shelves instead. So these have been sitting around. We've been trying to get rid of them for years. Trying to offer them to friends and family. No one's taken them and I'm so glad we didn't get rid of them because we've managed to reuse them in here. It's very similar to the ones we have in our bedroom. They're quite like um the depth is quite small on these. I know they're not kind of, there's no particular use for them, but it does make the room feel cozy. And it's so nice to put up, like some of her favorite things up there and like little things we've collected. Like we got this from South Africa. She, she's had this since she was a baby and I actually painted, this pink was a fuchsia pink and I actually painted it using leftover paint so it matches the ceiling paint. A couple of her little dolls and I love this plant pot from Anthropology. This was also in her bedroom when she was a baby. There's nothing going on in the space yet and I'm happy to leave it. It's her birthday soon, she's probably going to get some presents and this will just be like a little play area. I ended up getting this rug from H&M Home. You guys know I hate the carpet in the house but this just kind of lightens things up and I love that it's huge and circular because it just mixes up the shapes in the room. Everything, the bed, this, everything is very long and rectangular, the room itself. So just to go along with the wave, I thought a round rug would be nice and I'm so happy with this. It's a really, really lovely rug from H&M Home. This is her bed, it's from Ikea. It's one of those extendable beds. She had this already, it's on the smallest setting. It's not my favorite bed, but it's fine, it'll do. Felt a little bit like it was just kind of hovering and floating around, so kind of give this area a bit more of like a zone. I bought in the canopy which was in her nursery. So we took this out of Rudy's room which was never really meant for him anyway. He's gonna have a little play corner in his room at some point. I think he'd get much more use out of that. I've put this over her bed and also now she's older it feels more safer. I didn't want to do this when she had a cot. So this just kind of like zones this whole corner as like cozy sleeping area. I wanted to put some little twinkle lights in there. I haven't done it yet but maybe at some point I will. Also popped on this little pillow here which is from Zara Home and I think this is from the white company. She already had this bed set on. Underneath the bed I've got a couple of these drawers from Ikea and I'm so happy with these because they fit perfectly. They've just got these like two sections at the front. So we popped in some like fancy dress bits in here like those all her little accessories and then if you pull this out it's great because you can actually they can play on here if you need extra surface area and at the back I've got all her fancy dress stuff and then in the other one we've just got some of Rudy's books because we do bedtime in here and that one we can't pull out as easily so it's stuff we don't need to get access to. So 
happy with this little bedside table find from H&M Home. Again, I really liked like the curved edges just to soften things up in here. It's also got like a little space for her water bottle, her little nighttime spray, which she uses, and she's got her grow clock. And this is a little Ikea lamp as well. I think lighting is really important in a space. So we've got one lamp here and then we've got another lamp as well. And at night, it's just like a really nice kind of cozy, moody light. The linen curtains were already here. They are old from H&M Home. Quite hard to show you, but they've also kind of got this like wavy pattern to them which goes nicely in the room. Okay now let's pan over to this side of the room. This is kind of as far back as I can go so I will try and show you. The main feature of this side of the room is this. I'd seen something like this on Pinterest a while ago and I really wanted to replicate it. It's basically toy storage but with a space in the middle for a kind of sitting desk area. She's obviously too young yet to need a desk. She only starts school in September but you know a desk isn't just for working or homework. It's somewhere that she could sit and play and do colouring in and instead of getting like a table and chairs in here that just felt like quite a nice thing to do with this like huge blank wall I had over here and it's given this side of the room like so much more purpose. So these are the Trofast I think they're called from Ikea. I went for just like the pine ones. This layout with the six trays. So I've got one here and then we've got one over here and then this is some wood that we got from Timbers. Now this was quite expensive. We looked at so many different options. We looked at getting like a laminate worktop. We looked at like MDF. We looked at all these different options we didn't want something that would bend if she sat on it preferably I would have gone for a wipeable option but anyway in the end this ended up being the best option it's a bit of an awkward size it's quite long and quite narrow so as you can see the wood we just placed it on top and it goes all the way across which has created this kind of surface worktop and a little space here and then this used to be her bedside table it's just a stool from uh, I think it's H&M or maybe it's Ikea actually and now she has this cute little desk area which at the moment has this little um cute thing here but at some point this will become like colouring in and we can you know put crafty stuff in here it's tricky because Rudy's quite young I don't trust him with pens he'll draw all over the walls but that is the whole kind of idea of this section on the top I've just got this like cute little storage thing from H&M Home this is something we bought in South Africa this round tray is from Ikea and then this lamp is from H&M Home. I love the orange and pink together. This is just her doll's house that she got for her first birthday which I think was from Asda. It's actually nice that this is now higher up so she can just stand and play with it. And then we've got some of her extra books here just in like a little storage box. At some point I might put something on the end here to store them better. This is quite a small space so a lot of you recommended having one of those like tall spinning libraries but I don't think it would fit there. Our friend gave us this which is gorgeous so we put that on the wall and then her shelves which we already had have gone up on this side of the wall and this time what I've done is I've done two shelves the normal way with some of her favourite books in and then the bottom one I've turned it upside down again I saw this online which creates a really cute little shelf area. I haven't like finished putting stuff on here yet. This is a little wooden G that she got for her birthday last year that I've just painted in the same pink and what you can do is hang things from here. I haven't yet found anything that I can use to hang but when she's older I can hang like pots and put pens and that'll be so nice. I could maybe even hang some paper there. I love how this like shelf area looks. Underneath the desk we've, she's just got her Tony box and then also this cute little door from Zara home which I think is for the tooth fairy. I'm gonna put something behind it. It's just a cute little detail that when she her friends come over and they come up to her bedroom she can show them her little secret door under her desk. On this side I've just got some prints. That's a little greeting card I got and the frame is from Zara home. I really like it because it's kind of like puffy. That I just got from a little local shop and the Ikea frame that I actually painted around just to make it a little bit different. This is also an Ikea frame and I put washi tape around it. This print and this print is from Hand and Palm. Really love her prints. And then if I just pan around, I just love how the wave looks. There is, uh, there's nothing on this wall at the moment. And I think I might keep it plain because there's a lot going on in the room. We tend to use this area. The kids will like do their little shows or we'll change Rudy's nappy. And I, I don't want to put like a table or anything yet there yet. I'm just going to leave it as it is. That was actually much quicker than I thought. I don't really think there's anything else to show you. Let me know what you guys think. I'm so happy with it. I love the colors. I love the wave. I love how like this side of the room now has such purpose with the like worktop and the Ikea storage. I hope that she can stay in that bed as long as possible because once we have to start rearranging the bed, I'm not sure what we'll do. Realistically, we really should have just removed this chimney breast. It's not a working chimney. We haven't got a fireplace downstairs in that part of the house. We should have done it, but it was like a huge job and you just don't think about these things, do you? Because it would have made the room like a much 
easier shape to work with. But other than that, so happy with it. And I, yeah, I really, really love it. So I want to show you guys around properly and I hope you enjoyed that. Probably be back again next week with a vlog. I'll see you then. Bye.